welcome back to my channel. I'm Emma and I do a lot of lifestyle, DIY and home sort of content. So if that's your vibe, I would love for you to subscribe. But today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me because it is Christmas Eve and I have a girls lunch. So I'm super excited for that, but I'm unfortunately running a bit late because I just popped out for an appointment this morning and got some lashes put on. So I just had some sort of more natural kind of sets of lashes. Look at what the kitten did to me. <laughs> I was holding her and she scratched my nose this morning. So now I've got a scratch. Thank you very much, little miss. But I grabbed some decorations for the table for the party as well. I thought these might be kind of cute. They were just from a junk shop, but it would be really nice to just kind of decorate up. We are going to a place called Stella, which is a new restaurant on Chapel Street. I'm pretty sure it's like Italian food and it's got a beautiful little rooftop bar. And it is quite warm outside today. I think it's 26 degrees. So I have been planning to wear this red set that I've got from ASOS. It's an oldie but a goodie that I wore on one of my first dates with Jazz, but I haven't worn it since, so I'm not sure if it'll still fit me as good or if there's anything wrong with it, I don't know. So I need to go and grab that out of my wardrobe now. I might show you guys through what I'm currently using in terms of makeup just to get a really glam kind of look for Christmas events. And that will be about it. I've got to wrap the KK gift as well. I'll show you what I got. I got these decorations to pop on the table at the restaurant. Luna seems quite fond of them. So I thought it might just kind of make it look a little bit more Christmassy because it's sort of us theming the lunch and not the actual place. And then I got my KK gift which is these lint chocolates some um, cookie cutters and I also found this really nice wellness magazine so I thought that might be a really good present as well this is another KK gift I've got for Jazz's family we all buy books for each other so I need to wrap all of that as well and now I'm off to get ready I want to thank Roid Me for sponsoring this portion of the video. They were kind enough to reach out and gift me this beautiful new hairdryer. Not only is it gorgeous and aesthetic in a perfect white color to suit my home, but it's also really compact and lightweight in design. It has a really strong airflow, a high speed motor, negative ion technology, and some magnetic styling attachments. So this front piece easily clips on and off, which is so great. It's really compact, light, and powerful. And that just means I'm going to be able to pack it and take it away with me for Christmas which is absolutely perfect. I found that with this hairdryer it only took me about five minutes to dry my hair and I have very long hair so I was really really impressed as with my other hairdryer it would usually take me up to 15 minutes. The air turbo boosting technology operates at a lower temperature to reduce heat damage to keratin in the hair core. I've noticed the difference because my traditional hairdryer had excessive temperature which can destroy the keratin inside your hair. Negative ions deeply penetrate the hair that helps to neutralize the positive charge and it can fix rough and damaged hair. This effectively gets rid of static electricity in the hair and will tame any frizz and flyaways. Unlike traditional blow dryers, which house their air inlet at the back and would easily pull in the hair by accident, which I have definitely done and it is very painful before, this one has a little inlet grill at the base of the handle, which adopts this innovative double layered filters to prevent hair getting stuck and sucked in by the air inlet. I absolutely love this hair dryer. I'm going to be getting so much use out of it and I will be donating my old one because I no longer need to use it. Last day. I can't believe it is Christmas Eve. It really doesn't feel super Christmassy this year. I'm not sure why, maybe because I've sort of worked right up to the end, but I really liked having this T2 uh, advent calendar this year. It was kind of a nice change from having chocolates and things because I got to try a bunch of different flavored teas. So let's go ahead and open up day 24. Oh, it's Christmas breakfast flavor. I absolutely love this one. Hello, kitten. You wanna have a look at the tea as well? This is my KK present all wrapped up now and I think it turned out really nicely. I just bought this ribbon at a junk shop and I think it really adds to the gift wrapping to make it look really cute. All right, I changed and I am good to go. One of the first things I like to do before I do my makeup is I use this La Roche-Posay. It's like a thermal water spray thing. So I just kind of missed my face. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I do feel like it really just like wakes me up, especially in the morning before I go to the gym. I also am going to put on this, which is from Mecca. It's called the Water Cooler Hydrating Serum. And I just like to put a little bit of that on my forehead and also on my cheeks, because I feel like it's kind of good to just lock in the moisture in your face a little bit. And 
I'm definitely a very hands-on sort of application person. I don't often use little brushes and sponges and things because I feel like you can kind of give yourself a little bit of a facial massage around any of those sort of tight bits like your jaw when you're putting on serums and things. Next up is this moisturizer from Clinique. This is called the Dramatically Different one. I actually just got this in some PR the other day and I really love it. I remember my mum always using this so I just thought, why not? I think it really works. And I've actually noticed my skin looks almost shiny, like it's so hydrated at the moment. I've been using that every single morning and every single evening before I go to bed just to really help rehydrate my skin now that we're kind of heading into the warmer months. Now I'm just gonna clip up my hair to keep it out of the way. I can hear little Miss Luna trying to get into the bathroom. <laughs> She's opening the door. Hello, sweetheart. All right, first step for me is some color correction. I'm just using this cheap little foundation from Emco Beauty. I just got it literally at Woolworths for maybe like $16, I think, but I actually usually use the stock Mecca ones. So I ran out and I was literally at Chadston the other day staring straight at them and I didn't pick one up. So I had to sort of just buy this one to tide me over until I get back to a Mecca again. But I feel like doing this just really helps hide any of that like pigmentation and spots that I've kind of got going on. I have actually been using the pigment blocker cream that I mentioned a couple of vlogs back, but it's going to take time. So I do actually still have some pigment and things that needs covering. Then I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It is definitely worth the hype. I put it all over my face and it really just gives you a beautiful glow underneath your makeup. And I feel like it kind of must have some other bits and pieces in it as well, like maybe SPF or hyaluronic acid or something because it definitely feels like it helps to hydrate the skin and yet again like I said I'm a bit of a handsy person I just feel like I'm in a rush and it saves time when you're applying makeup a little bit this way and then just using a cleansing cloth to get it off my hands so that's what we're going for today in this speedy little get ready now for my actual foundation I've been using this one from lust minerals I use mine in the shade 5 and I also do have a discount code for them I'll put it on screen because I buy this stuff all the time it is literally the number one foundation i've found it just finishes so nicely on the skin and i get so many questions and compliments every time i'm wearing this and i just think it's because of how beautiful it finishes so definitely order some samples if not the real thing for yourself and just give it a go because I would rarely recommend a foundation. I feel like I used to always mix two or three different ones together and try and sort of get the right color or the right finish, but this one is just really great for my skin. So I think I'm gonna order some more and get shade six for summer just because I'll be a little bit more tan. So I wanna make sure my face is kind of blending along with me getting some more sunshine and things, but I just really, really love their product. I've also, I had their primer, but I used it up and I also have their bronzer and their loose powder and a couple of bits and pieces. So they also have a translucent setting powder, but I'm just not really sure what the go is with translucent powders because I feel like if you put blush on, you still need to use a normal loose powder to kind of like dull the color down. And that's kind of half the problem of like living in an apartment as well, because when I get ready, I feel like I look really amazing and I'll look in the mirror and I'm like, yes, like that's the look. And then I go out into natural daylight and I'm like, wow, like you need to blend because I can't kind of see if something's on a bit too heavy under artificial lighting. So that is why I usually carry a few little things with me in my bag, just so I can correct on the go in case I look a bit too scary after stepping out of the bathroom. Now I'm just gonna wipe all of that makeup off my hands because I'm gonna swap into using some brushes and things now. So I've got a foundation on my lips as well and also on my eyebrows. So I'm just kind of wiping all of that off. And I know this is definitely not probably the correct order of applying makeup. I know every time I've gone to a makeup artist, they seem to do like the eyeshadow and things first, but this is just the way that I do it. So I'm not a professional. I am literally just doing what I've done for years and it works for me. So I think whatever works for you is the right kind of makeup and you can always treat yourself to getting glam every now and then if you can afford. I usually just do my own though, honestly. I feel like I'm decent enough at doing makeup these days that I don't need someone to do it for me. Um, now I'm just putting on some contour stick. This was actually a sample that I had left over from 
uh, Sephora, I think. It's called Milk, the brand, and I'm definitely going to buy a full size of this once it runs out because I actually really like it. So I just blend a little bit around my jawline down the bottom for a little bit more definition. And I've also done contour on my cheeks and also down either side of my nose. And I know this isn't like, again, the totally correct way to do it, but I just feel like it sort of adds a little bit of definition and depth to your face. So I prefer to do it. I usually do this every single day just because this one is really easy and quick to blend in. So it's not like you're contouring and it's, you know, like the whole thing. Like I've seen makeup artists do like three different colors of contour and they do every zone of the face. And I definitely don't know how to do that. I would love someone to do that and transform my face one day, but this is just what I kind of do for now. And I think this is enough. I usually also take one of these little squishy blenders with me on the go because I feel like it's just really good for almost kind of like blotting paper. So next step, I'm going to use another Lust Minerals product. This is their Champagne Highlighter and I actually love this one because it's a liquid highlighter so you can easily just dab it on the cheeks and a little bit on the nose and it blends really beautifully. So I don't use powder highlighter anymore because I think you just kind of have to go with how your skin is. and. I'm not in my 20s anymore, so I feel like my skin isn't as supple and can't have as heavy makeup on it as it used to. So I just kind of prefer to use a lot of these liquid things because that is the real tea. These are really blendable. They really just sink into your skin and it's just going to make you look more youthful because it's not kind of like powder that's sort of stuck on and a little bit too cakey looking. Next up is my blush. I've been using this little blue palette from Basics by B and it is totally filthy on the inside, but it has some blushes and eyeshadows. I think it was kind of like a Grecian sort of palette. So some of them have like names like Santorini and Crete and it's that real Euro European summer sort of vibe so I kind of blend two of them together there's one that's like more peachy and then there's one that's a little bit of a beigey sort of blush and I think that's really nice for the daytime because it's a little bit more subtle than I don't know a bit more of a rose color or a red so I'm just blending that on now with these brushes which are also from basics by B that are really really lovely and soft but I definitely know that I am due to clean my brushes as well so that's something I'm gonna try and do over the Christmas break because it's just one of those things that like you know you need to do it and it's a little bit naughty when they start to get dirty but you just never do it you know I'm also going to use the Sicily colored eyeshadow from that same palette because it's kind of like this really nice I don't know like purpley brown I used to have a very similar color like this from Napoleon before they ceased to exist and I used to buy it in bulk because I was just so into the color. It's just a very interesting shade. So just popping some of that onto my eyes now. And again, this brush is from Basics by B. I'm not even sure if this is kind of like the correct eyeshadow brush, but I like it because it's really soft tipped. And next I also have this eyeshadow palette, which was just a cheap one from a Maybelline called Nudes of New York. And this is very me. All of these colors are like golden and beigey tones. And there's kind of three that I just sort of mix together and I pop it on my eyelid area like that. And I feel like these are nice because they're a little bit glittery and I want to kind of have a little bit of glitzy and gold because it is Christmas theme. Now for some loose powder, I'm using this one from Lust Minerals. It's their Loose Mineral Powder Foundation in shade 4. And again, I just use the slightest bit under my cheeks where like maybe some of the blush has kind of run in the wrong direction. Sorry, I was going to look at you and then I realized I need to look at me. And then I just blend a little bit of it down my neck as well, just in case any of my foundation is not looking at the best. So just a really light dusting of that. Now I sometimes use a bronzer, but I'm not going to today because I'm not very tanned, but I actually, I sometimes use this bronzer, which is the Emco Beauty one, but I'm not going to today because I'm not very tanned. I know maybe under this like horrible bathroom lighting, I look slightly tan, but I don't have much color yet. So I don't want to go too crazy. Now I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray. This is a continuous setting mist. So you just kind of spray this on all over to like set in the makeup and then I just fan my face a little bit to help it settle in. Now I'm going to use this little Revlon Colorstay brow kit and a thin pencil to pencil brush to pop some color through my eyebrows. So that's what I like to do. I used to have them. Um, I once upon a time got like the, that eyebrow tattoo thing that you can kind of get, but 
it, that was years and years ago and I only did it once and I didn't really like it so I just let it fade off and ever since I just kind of colour in my brows. I have had brow lamination done which was a little bit of a phase if you guys remember on my channel here if you've been around for a while and I liked that as well but I also just don't think that I have thick enough brows to kind of pull it off so this is kind of what we go with. I just sort of draw them in and give them a little bit more volume and to be fair I do actually get some compliments on them from time to time so it must be looking okay. I also just popped a little bit of that colour under the corner of my eyes and now I think the final step is my mascara. So I've got this one from Marc Jacobs. I feel like at a point in time every YouTuber was recommending this and then it got discontinued so this is one of the last tubes that I have and I'm holding on to it for dear life because it's really, really good. That is makeup all done now. So now I'm just going to curl my hair using this cheap little wand. It's a VS Sassoon one and I just got it at Priceline. So it was very inexpensive, but it does really, really nice curls. So that is my go-to unless I'm using my really big curling wand, but I'm not sure where I put that. I'm still like semi unpacking from when I moved. So that is that. Now I've just got to finish this off and then I'll be good to go. I have to show you guys something that I got last weekend. So I actually have an older sister. Her name is Rachel and she lives in America because she married an American guy a couple of years ago. So they have a three-year-old little boy named Oliver and I'd actually never got to meet him up until last weekend because of all of the issues with traveling the last few years. They just haven't been able to get here and I haven't been able to get there. So I missed out on seeing him in all his little baby years aside from just like Zoom calls back and forth. So I'm sure tons of you know what that feels like if you have family overseas or anyone special in your life who's sort of in a different country or was not available during those times but I made one request for my Christmas and that's because America gets like those proper ugly Christmas jumpers so that's what I have in my hands I asked her to bring me a genuine American ugly Christmas jumper and I've got the aircon on so that I can put it on but this is it and I am so friggin stoked how funny is that it's got like a llama on the front of it and all the little patterns and stuff through it I just thought this was so perfect and definitely gonna be my Christmas day outfit to get a little photo with the tree. Yeah, There's a rainbow on the table. So your New Year's Eve? I built the camping. Yeah. It's, it's a rechargeable candle lighter. It's my business. That was such a nice afternoon with the girls. I just got back home now and I walked back. So I've taken my shoes off because my feet are about to die. I had to walk all the way there as well because the traffic was just absolutely insane and it was not possible to get there. So unfortunately ended up being a little bit late, but that's all right. We've got plenty of time to have a really, really nice lunch. And we also did a little Christmas Kringle thing, which is that beautiful dust candle that you saw that I got. And that was it. It was just so nice to do a little bit of a Christmas lunch with some friends and catch up with everyone before we kind of get so busy because I am away very shortly heading up to the Gold Coast to see my family, which will be really nice. But yeah, that's it from me today. Now I just need to get on ready and then I'm going to be doing a little bit of content stuff this afternoon. I've still got a couple of little bits and pieces here to do for some jobs and then I'll be wrapping up all that editing and everything and I think I might take a little bit of a break but I'm not sure because I really do like the kind of New Year's content as well so I was thinking to do some stuff with like vision board planning and planning out your spaces and how to like reset your home for the new year so if anyone has any ideas or you're interested in that sort of content drop me a comment down below but if not it was lovely to spend the day with you and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.